Welcome to Apex Predator. This week we're back in Mozambique on the trail of another elusive antelope, the sable. I'm hunting with my good friend Gavin Ingram of Induna Hunting Safaris and renowned dangerous game hunter JP Kleinens. As the sun peeps over the horizon, we're looking to cover ground quickly and get into an area where the sable have been spotted. Then we'll head out on foot. Sable are an antelope that typically inhabit the wooded savannas of eastern Africa, southern Kenya and across southern Africa. A large antelope, they can grow up to 143 centimetres tall at the shoulder and can measure up to 255 centimetres in length, not counting the tail. Weighing in at around 150 to a massive 270 kilograms, these beautiful creatures offer a significant yield of tasty venison. The female sable is typically a chestnut to dark brown colour and darkens with age, whereas the males are black. Both have white underbellies, cheeks and chins that give them their distinctive and very striking appearance. Sable also have long ringed horns that arch backwards to a sharp point, and for that reason they're one of Africa's most highly sought after trophies. We're hunting again today with my trusty Ruger No. 1 Tropical in 450-400 Nitro Express. This tough, reliable workhorse rifle hasn't failed me yet and is perfect for taking down large African game. I'm also using the 400 grain Hornady DGX Dangerous Game Series ammunition that served me so well on previous safaris. This phenomenal round is proven at taking down Africa's toughest game and I know they'll deliver the goods when it counts. Topping things off is my Zeiss Victory Davari 2.5 to 10 by 50 scope. Time after time this scope has offered great visibility and performance in low light and I know it can stand up to the tough conditions that Africa will invariably throw at us. As usual, I'll also be using my Zeiss Victory 10x45 rangefinding binos, which have travelled across the globe with me over the past few years. These binos deliver an incredible sight picture, and the rangefinding capabilities are the best I've found on any sports optic. We've not gotten far out of camp on the truck when the guys pull over. One of the trackers has spotted something, but it's not our sable. So what you can see here is a snare that was made by local poachers. As you can see behind me, there's a game trail which goes from the bush and then, uh, then out and it's probably used by bush buck and water buck and all manner of things. So what they've done is they've fastened it to a heavier stick and then loop this between those two smaller sticks over there. Where there's game, there's poaching. It happens all over the world. And here in Mozambique, it's a particular problem. Now, sometimes it's for poaching for food for the family and other times it's just poaching for money. And what we found here is a poacher's shed or shack which is no further than a couple of kilometres away from camp, so they're getting pretty brave. Yeah. So Gavin's going to do us all a huge favour here and set fire to it. Yeah. Gavin lights up the makeshift camp and it goes up with ease. Poaching is a real problem all across Africa and the anti-poaching team here at Mahimba take their responsibilities very seriously indeed. This is a clear message to poachers, not on our patch. We continue across the bush on the truck and then head out on foot. It's tough to see the game in this foliage as the horizon is awash with browns and the sunlight is gleaming down. So we glass the landscape as carefully as possible and pick up our path. We begin trekking some more when the wind takes a turn on us. So this is the problem we've got. The wind keeps changing, it's now coming straight from behind us. So the wind at the bottom is going to the right from behind us. As you can see from the grasses over there, the wind at the top is coming um, from, the, from in front of us. It swirls around in the valleys here, but the wind is predominantly coming into our face, so we're going to persevere with it, and hopefully it's going to pick up as it moves in towards midday. We carry on our way, being mindful of the wind, and we spot something in the brush not far ahead of us. OK, so we found a herd of sable. Now it's in this thick stuff here in between the pines. The trackers are just going to find the tracks for a decent sized bull. And then we're going to see if we can head in and get a shot. But it's really thick and the cover's incredibly dense here. There's quite a few females. But it looks like they found the tracks, so. The trackers pick up the sable prints in the dusty ground and we follow their path. We haven't gone much further when we spot a beautiful male standing front onto us in the brush. He's definitely seen us and has his eyes locked onto us but he doesn't look at ease one little bit. He stands there for a little while, eyeing us cautiously, and then he's had enough. He charges off into the thick stuff at warp speed. We give him a little time before carrying on our trek. We don't want to be chasing a herd of sable all day. 
We continued to walk through the thick stuff and try and keep in cover. It seems to have paid off. A little further through the bush, we spot another beautiful male. Gavin assures me that the young bull won't have gone too far from the herd, and so we head back into the thick stuff for a closer look. So that's not the same bull we saw before. That's a slightly smaller bull. We wanted to come and have a closer look at it, but we spooked him. The wind here keeps swirling, it's not kind of blowing in the same direction. So we're going to head back, come a little bit further up, and see if we can head off that bull we saw earlier. We stay down and move quickly into a closer position. Sure enough, we find what we're looking for. A beautiful mature bull stands on the edge of cover with a female. Gavin sets up the sticks and I take aim. With them looking right at us, we don't have much time to get off a shot. I find him in my crosshairs. The shot is good, but the sable still turns and bolts. But I know I've planted that bullet in the engine room and he can't have gone far. We head into the thick stuff and sure enough we find our bull. How are you down? Hey feather. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days, man. Yo, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at its long backwards sweeping horns, really big thick bases. This is a very handsome trophy, yeah? Absolutely. Pitch black. Really Pitch black. A little bit of red on the top of his shoulders here. You know, nice uh, blonde highlights looking in his in his mane. But he's slightly quartering onto, as you can see, the exit uh, wound here. If we roll him over in a second, we'll have a look at the entry wound. But I felt I made like a really, really good contact. Yeah. Um, but I took the shot and he took off like the clappers. He must have run, what, 150 yards? At least 150 yards. 150 yards. The 400 grain dangerous game round straight through and out the other side. So pretty tough animals these as well. Ah, you could see the way that it was running. It took a decent shot. So let's flip him over. Let's have a look at the other side. So as you can see, we just flipped him over and he was quartering onto me, which means he was facing with his side slightly towards me in the rear, as you saw in the film, coming back. I took a shot slightly towards the front of the shoulder, would take out the vitals and obviously anchor him. But even though I took out his shoulder, he still managed to run some distance. But he's a fair sized animal as well, Gavin. He's actually in his prime now. You could see that, uh, you know, with the amount of females that he was, you know, he's the the king the of the big, herd, he yeah. He's the king of the herd. He's the the big boy. Well, there's a couple of younger bulls in there, so yeah. Now we've taken this fella. They'll get their chance. But thanks very much, man. What an no, absolutely well. phenomenal stalk. Another great stalk within Duna in Mozambique. Everyone lends a hand to load this beautiful bull into the truck, and that's another amazing hunt within Duna hunting safaris. To create your own African hunting experience of a lifetime, visit dunahuntingsafaris.co.za. Tune in at the same time next week for Team Wild's Varminators, when I'll be helping with a feral hog problem in Texas. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best big game hunting videos on YouTube and our all new lineup of shows for 2013.